this is the Primus multi-fuel stove that is running on propane using the Covia LP gas adapter that I have on a previous video on the adapter. And this is of course indoors and I'm uh, doing a number of different tests today. So I have this little torch going and I will turn on the propane. As you can see, it, 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 it sputters a little bit. Usually it's a little more difficult getting it going. There's a lot of uh, period of gas coming through, but there's no ignition. Uh, apparently it has to purge the line. The adapter is set at this point, open one turn from fully closed. And again, please see the um, previous video that I have on the adapter for more information on that. As you can tell, this is pretty loud. Now, this is not up to full capacity, and I'm going to show what happens as the valve is open fully. It actually will tend to blow out the, the flame, so you cannot open this all the way. Now, I'm going to go ahead and open it up, and you'll see what I'm, what I'm talking about. doing very well on this particular setting. That's fully open. Now I'm dropping it back down. What I'm going to show here is how low this can get. Most of this video is going to be dealing with a number of uh, plots or temperature curves that will be showing the heating characteristic of this particular burner compared to a standard stove burner. Now as you can tell, this is still making a sound. Once this is fully heated up though with the propane, and this can, I, I also tried this with the canister and it does about the same thing, you can reduce this even further. Now one of the plots that I have with uh, heating up water as a comparison with a stove has this at about this setting, or just about this, maybe a slightly lower. It's audible, uh, which is actually a, 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 a feedback mechanism so that you know that the thing is running. But if you're watching it very carefully, you can drop this down even further. And there is a point where you can have this, if you can get it stabilized, where there's if I can get it to stabilize. Almost no sound at all. Like that. Now that is an extremely low flame. I would say it's a well below that of even a small sterno canister type flame. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a another plot with the water test uh, at this setting to see what it's like compared to the one where it is audible uh, which means that the output is slightly higher. Example of the difference between the adjuster set all the way open and then one where it's all the way closed. This is what it looks like on high. Now, when this is relatively cool, like starting out, there's enough of a um, pressure effect that it will almost, I guess, I haven't tried it actually, but it looks like it will blow the flame out at this highest setting. Now I'm going to go ahead and readjust this to the lowest setting and then I will show you what that looks like. I have now set this to the lowest setting on the LP gas adapter for the uh, adjustment and now I'm going to turn the 
control valve all the way up. As you can see, there isn't a great deal of difference in the flame height or other characteristics between the lowest and the highest setting for the adjuster. But that probably is because this orifice is a limiting factor. You can buy jets that are larger than this for this stove. This is 0 0.35 millimeter, but there's, a, I think, a 0 0.45 or somewhere in that neighborhood millimeter orifice, which will have a much greater degree of output than this little one. And there may be a more apparent difference between the high and low setting on this adjuster if that jet is used versus the one that is being used here.